welcome back we're doing the recording of 28th of november's god is blessing now everybody has got a question in their mind what were we when we came onto this earth and what were we before we came onto this earth and what are we going to do after we leave our body now this is something which nobody can answer for you other than the supreme creator and that can only be revealed when the complete drama is revealed as to when did we actors as souls came down on earth and when did we start our acting did everybody start their acting during the kali yuga or the iron age or did some people drop in on earth when there was the golden age or the silver age as you must have known that bharat or the country india went through its own golden age and people are talking about reversing that that means they want that golden age back but who were there during that time and where are they now some of us believe in rebirth some of us don't believe in rebirth that's fine but the even scientists are saying that there's something about rebirth when you think of somebody who's a child who's remembering about their previous life and they're trying to find out where they came from they're trying to find out their previous parents and mothers and brothers and fathers and husbands and sisters and there there are certain cases where it has been revealed that yes people have found out some pilots and they have found out that they were there in the second world war and they remembered those things during the dreams anyways that's a debatable topic so let's come back to what god has to say god wants us to remember what he has come to make us into into a divine pure powerful being and everybody thinks that something has to change in this world some religions are talking about the last or at the end of days before the end of days there's going to be a last paigambar or there's going to be a last messenger of god what about if god himself comes as a messenger in the end and tells us how he created the complete drama when it started and when it's going to restart in a fresh way so here god in today's blessing talks about three kal darshi three kal means three aspects of time past present and future he is giving us a vision of what is his plan we generally think that whatever i am planning is going to happen right that's a very positive way to think about it at the same time god says you have your own small plans but i've got my larger plan for the whole world that's why we generally say a very nice proverb man proposes god disposes so here god is saying that there's some other plan for you for humanity for earth and for the complete drama so god says may you be a master trikaldarshi and know your own future by being aware of this benevolent time actually for many people it's kal you got the iron age going on but for many people whose third eye is opened up third eye is not a physical eye it's an eye of knowledge seeing beyond the physical skin seeing beyond the bones and the muscle and the blood there's something which is beyond that is the soul within and the soul is on a journey and that journey if you get to know from the supreme creator your third eye opens up is self realization self realization can also be known as atma realization or soul consciousness so god here says if someone asks you what your future is tell him we know that it is a very good it is very good because we know that whatever comes tomorrow will be very good whatever happened was good whatever is happening now in the present moment is good and whatever is to happen will be very very good think about it all the three aspects are wonderful everything which is happening to you now some people will say somebody shouted at me in the morning my boss doesn't like me my wife is not going along with me my husband is not going along with me there's certain issues in the house well what is good in that if you see it from your physical eyes and an eye of attachment then yes everything is going wrong but if you see it from the spiritual eyes how do you see that how do you learn to see from the spiritual eyes how do you get to know the secrets behind this whole drama of an acting of every being around you when you understand that the whole thing about the evil part and the good part through the brahma kumari seven decos you can see through things and that's known as wisdom So God says the children who are master trikaldarshi who know the three aspects of time why somebody is doing like this what should i do so that my future becomes better that's another thing which you can learn through trikaldarshi or uh, somebody has done something to me how should i behave right now so that my past karma becomes better in the future that's another way of knowing it 
and understanding things that can only happen when you understand what's going to happen in the future for those people who are taking the evil path and for those people who are taking the godly path so Gordon says the children who are master Trikaldarshi have the faith that this is the benevolent time that everything is going for the good everything which is happening is for the better now if you are soul conscious instead of being body conscious you'll understand that the soul is never dead that means if somebody is dying if there's mass murder happening if somebody is being killed or there's stampede in some country or something we might panic we might be like oh my god the authority should have done something or the police should have done something yes that's a good feeling that's a good way of thinking about it improving the system but if you think it from a spiritual point of view you'll understand you realize that nobody actually died in a spiritual way it's just that the energy left the body because of certain karmic accounts it had to settle whether it was through a bullet whether it was through a stampede whether it was through covid whether it was through something and nobody is dead they're just changing the costumes and going to the next costume easy to say but it can only be felt powerfully can be felt powerfully not just through your thoughts when you learn the process of meditation and when you yourself become soul conscious that is what you learn at Brahma Kumaris so God then says that the time is benevolent that their father is benevolent creator God Allah Paramatma Ishwar is benevolent and that they are world benefactors we all are here to help you and to guide you to become somebody who is stable minded with soul consciousness to be away from fear when you're soul conscious you are away from the fear of death so God then says and so there cannot be anything non benevolent for them once you understand the secrets of the soul world not the physical world because we are attuned to the physical world we try to see everything through our five senses but there's another sense the sixth sense is the sense of the soul when you see things through your mind's eye and the mind's intellect with wisdom everything changes everything looks for the better now that is something which you can learn at Brahma Kumaris do go ahead and do join a Brahma Kumaris center and it's all free for this wisdom with this Om Shanti